All right, uh, so just moved here to Tampa. Now I need to find what to do. Of course it's normal for me to be all alone, but to speak my inner monologue aloud so the viewer can know what's happening. All right, let's see what we got here. Oh, historic downtown walking tour. Yes, please. Uh, 10 a.m., okay. What is Armature Works? Uh, Spanish meetup. Que si. I guess I can just walk around. Downtown's not that big. River walk. Okay, yeah, let's do that. All right, I'm ready for tomorrow. Roll intro. Hey, I'm TJ. I do the downtown Tampa walking tour with the Tampa Bay History Center. Uh, lots to check out, so why don't you follow me? We'll get started. So I wanted to come on this tour because I'm a native Floridian and I've been living in Tampa most of my life and continue to find all sorts of nice things about the, the city here. Uh, what I appreciated about the tour was uh, the breadth of history that we were able to, to learn about from the beginning of the city's start and that original piece of sidewalk that was really fascinating. I don't know how many times I've passed that and didn't know why there was granite in the middle of a brick <laughs> sidewalk so that was fabulous and just it was well done you know I, I had a lot of confidence in the information uh, that I was learning. Well, I learned so much about Tampa and most of it was interesting and even the stuff that wasn't interesting was entertaining. <laughs> and, uh, my favorite part was Tampa theater just because I already knew a little bit about that one already so I didn't feel like a complete newbie. It was just wonderful learning about everything and luckily we had a nice day to do it too. So we recommend it. Come to Tampa. <laughs> Um, I moved down here recently about eight months ago and we wanted to really take a good look at Tampa uh, and um, some of the historical sites. This uh, one tour so far has done a pretty good job, right? Yes. So it gave us a lot of information uh, about the different buildings, the old Woolworth building, right? The Woolworth building yeah, and yeah. the Sacred Heart uh, the Church. Yeah, the Sacred Heart Church. That's the, my most important part of it. So I have to come back and visit the inside of the church because that was my, my favorite part of it. We uh, now know that the original Floridians called this the beer can building. <laughs> <laughs> we will be back down here and we will start to go inside some of the places. Now we know where to go. And we have just to go to the historic uh, center to know more about Tampa and discover the area where we live. We need to know what's around us. So I absolutely love that tour. It was great. TJ was very clear, very thorough. Uh, you know, he took us along a route and he's showing us all these historical places and you know stuff that you just on the surface You don't even you don't know what that building is or what that statue says or what is it for and just to learn the history You know, he's done his homework. He's able to answer questions and you know It's about a mile walk, but you don't even feel it like after you're done walking like I feel good so Definitely recommend that tour now. I'm in Tampa in the city for the rest of the morning rest of the day so you know Let's fly the drone.
So we had fun flying the drone, right? Let's walk around and see what else Tampa has to offer. So Tampa has these really cool green signs all over the city, just spread out everywhere. So if you don't have an awesome guide like TJ, you can at least get a little bit of the history and what's happening in that area. Just all written on these nice, convenient green signs just all throughout the city. All right, so yeah, this Tampa Riverwalk is beautiful and it's really well maintained. And just like the last little placards and stuff, giving you information about the city and uh, you know the history that's here. Um, but you know, I wish TJ was here to explain some of these things that I you know don't understand. You can walk around with the camera, so people are you know stop you and ask you you know where are you from, what are you doing. And it's interesting. I'm having the exact opposite here that I had in China when I went to China. I'm like I'm an American and like wow, it's so cool. I can't fathom life in America and now I'm here in, in America and telling people yeah I used to live in China and they're like whoa I can't fathom you know life in China how could a foreigner live there it's a great conversation starter in Tampa Santa comes on not a sleigh but a polar bear who is riding a yacht and over there we have Harbor Island which is where a lot of the money is at it seems uh, professional athletes and musicians and stuff live over there so I might be buying a house over there one day we'll see I'll think about it. Out here supporting local businesses. Hmm. It's pretty good, the green glow or something like that. It's got spinach in it. It's my favorite vegetable, so it tastes good. There's a streetcar and it's free. And I'm gonna get on it. I'm here riding the Tico, which is the famous train here that's free in Tampa. And uh, so far it's really great. Um, of course, you know, it's just kind of like, you know, back in the 20s with the streetcar, super loud and dead right away. And drivers are really great. This is the first time that I've had to wear a mask since I've been back in the US. Since I've gotten on the airplane, it's the first time that it's been required. The tram, that was pretty cool. Yeah, if you're in Tampa and you just want to kind of ride from one place to another, I think it goes from Ybor City all the way to downtown Tampa. I just caught it from the History Center because I didn't feel like walking. But it's also pretty cool to do. So if you're in Tampa, I definitely recommend you checking that out. I've been walking around all morning, all day. It's about two, three-ish. Yeah, so Tampa definitely has a lot to offer. Um, I have to come back, back many times, obviously, to see everything that Tampa has to offer, but just, just the river walk alone has so many things. And behind me, that way, is the Strass Center, and that's um, you know where musical performances and concerts and stuff are. And it's a beautiful day to be in downtown Tampa. And now I'm gonna head to Amateur um, Works and go practice in Spanish. I walked all the way to Armature Work from downtown Tampa. Yeah, I'm tired, but it was beautiful. Nice along the river. Uh, yeah, let's go check out and see what's inside. As soon as I walked in the door, security stopped me and said I cannot film inside. But I did get this empanada, 
Uh, I saw this on the internet before I even came. Uh, it had good reviews, so I knew I wanted to try this. And yeah, let's try it. Kind of, sort of. Like, like okay. Mmm, Tampa girl. Oh, well, that's like a ham and cheese sandwich. That's not what I was expecting at all. All right, let's try this uh, cheeseburger paradise. Wow, also not not what, what I think of when I hear empanada, but it's pretty good. They're like hot pockets. They're really good hot pockets. Right, as soon as I finish eating, I'm gonna go find a Spanish group and go back. Bienvenidos a Tampa. Okay. <laughs> you can see at night, Armature Works is popping. Like, there's so many people here. Um, one of the girls that just showed up to the Spanish language group said she couldn't find parking. Traffic's really bad. So, but yeah, this is just a really beautiful location. There's families out, uh, food. There's just so much to do. And apparently, there's a boat parade tonight. If you haven't seen that video, check out that video. I'll put it, link it over there, over here. I can't remember where. It'll be linked somewhere. And um, yeah, so the, the Spanish language thing is really cool. Uh, yeah, just, you know, whenever I get a chance to practice the language, it's always good for me. And so now I'm gonna have to walk about a mile back to my car, to the garage where I parked. And yeah, so let's see what we see along the way, because it seems like the river walk has like things along the way. Just so much life, so many, it's Saturday. Yeah, so let's enjoy more from Tampa and the Tampa nightlife as I go back. <laughs> 